This is problem 6.6 .6 from Brigham and Houston, Fundamentals of Financial Management, uh, Concise Ninth Edition, on the inflation cross product. All right, so this problem has an analyst evaluating securities in a developing nation where inflation is very high, and he's been warned not to ignore the cross product term. Now, our basic formula for the yield is that the yield is equal to R star, the real inflation, or, I'm sorry, the real risk-free rate, plus an inflation premium, plus this cross product term, which is the real inflation, uh, the real risk-free rate times the inflation premium, plus the maturity risk premium plus the liquidity premium plus the default risk premium. That's the basic formula. All right, now we typically ignore the cross product, and the cross product is this term in here the R star times the inflation premium. We typically ignore it because it's so small, it's basically rounding error with uh, most developed economies, but it can be material, and that's what this problem is trying to demonstrate. All right, but most of the time it's ignored, but what the, hey, if it shows up on a quiz, you got to be able to do it, right? Okay, so what we know is that the yield is equal to the real risk-free rate of 5% given in the problem plus the average inflation rate over the next four years, given in the problem of 18%, plus the cross product, 5% times 18%, plus the maturity risk premium, the liquidity premium, default risk premium, except those are given as zero in the problem. Okay, it says, what is the yield on a four-year security with no maturity, default, or liquidity risk? So, those three or zero and it boils down to the yield is five percent plus eighteen percent plus five percent times eighteen percent okay so letting Excel do the work for me that's equal to five percent plus eighteen percent plus 5% times 18%, and they found a typo, I don't know where, okay, and so the answer comes out to 23.9%, I'm going to show this to the basis point, a basis point is one one hundredth of a percent, so just like a, a penny is one one hundredth of a dollar, a basis point is one one hundredth of a percent. So it's 23% plus 90 basis points or 23.9%.